I come before you today way humbled. Uh, we had some tests done. They run an EKG um, and I've got abnorm no, abnormalities. So we called him and he said if you hadn't heard from him in an hour to call and that was almost two hours ago. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're just waiting. Oh, the phone's ringing. Is the doctor? Oh my gosh. Is Should there... we answer it right now? All right, so a little turn of events. <laughs> this morning I went to uh, the doctor for a regular physical and I was telling him that I was like, just feeling a lot more exhausted lately. I'm just not feeling 100%. When I work out, it's just not the same. Just feeling really, uh, just exhausted. Even walking up the stairs, I, I cannot walk up the stairs. So uh, we had some tests done, they run an EKG. Um, and I've got abnorm no, abnormalities um, on my EK EKG. So they sent me to the hospital to get my labs done so that they can get uh, results today. Um, so I'm heading to the hospital now. Just got here and um, gonna have those tests run so that he can get the, the test today because it's apparently that, uh, that important. They said that um, According to the EKG, that my heart has uh, inflammation, uh, and or it's inflammated around my heart, and that's kind of what he suspects is going on. He said it did not look normal. He said that like an EKG normally it like spikes and then it flattens for a little bit and then it spikes again, but mine I have a spike. It goes down and then it spikes again and then it goes down and it's not really flat. Okay, so that was fast, all done. We'll see what they say in an hour. Good morning, Team Hour. I come before you today way humbled and uh, a couple levels down than we normally start most logs. Buckle in, because today's gonna be a long day. <clears throat> the door should rock, 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 knock any second for Rocky's first in-home speech therapy. Um. <clears throat> but more importantly, JD had a doctor's appointment this morning, and honestly, I didn't think anything of it. He's been really fatigued, but you guys remember how sick we were. I just was like, he's just kind of recovering from it, right? Like, if you have influenza, it's going to take you like a month to recover. Well, he went to the doctor this morning and has inflammation on his heart. I know nothing else. He called me. I didn't even go to the doctor's appointment. I thought it would be no big deal. He called me and was like, hey, the doctor wants me to go straight up to the hospital. <clears throat> um, my heart's inflamed. They did an EKG. All the stuff that I'm like, what, what, like, what? Did you ask this, did you ask that? And of course he didn't ask like any of the questions I wanted him to. I mean, not his fault, but like, so I have all these questions, I know nothing. <laughs> JD said, it could be like some kind of a virus, like a, a viral thing. But I'm worried because the doctor was like, no, we can't wait for my labs to come back tomorrow. You have to go to the hospital immediately. And then set a timer and if you don't hear me from me within one hour of your labs being complete, then I want you to call me. So obviously those are two big signs that like this is a really big deal. So he just got his lab, labs drawn. He called me at 11.09. Hopefully, we'll have speech from 11.30 to 12, and they will call us at like 12.10. All right, I'm home, and um, this girl. Stop. <laughs> Why are you crying? No. This Why girl is crying? a mess. I stop. Oh, my gosh. Stop. It's not like I'm going to die. But, like, you might. I'm not going to die, everybody. I am going to be just fine. You're like the rock. You're like the always healthy I'm the one. rock. Am I Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> so, we called him, and he said if he hadn't heard from him in an hour to call, and that was almost two hours ago. Uh, mm -hmm. So we called in an hour and we're just waiting to hear. The doctor was in with other patients, so. Yeah, so we're just waiting. Have you Googled it? Nope. I'm not letting you Google it either. Have you really not Googled it? Okay, maybe. I, <laughs> oh no, what did it I say? Look, I, I actually, I didn't really get to look into it oh. much. So, you guys, anyway, we'll keep you posted. It has been. A lot. Like, JD had like six meetings today 
we start track today. Peyton has achievement days. I have my friend's son all day because she's in a surgery. I was supposed to have my other friend's kids, but I got a Marco Polo and started crying. And a third friend in that group was like, it's okay. And so she got both of them. Kids. So she's got Palmer and Rocky's napping. And it's good because we finally are having a chance to talk. Yeah, we haven't even talked at all. Because he came home and the speech lady had just walked in. For Rocco. Also, Rocky loves her. <laughs> she looks very similar to me, like long dark hair. Rocky just like he was giving her kisses. He was sitting he was on her lap kisses? downstairs. What? Yeah, I was like, I don't even get kisses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so the things we were working on with Rocky are, oh, this feels so unimportant in this moment. But equipment this is very important. I'm fine. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I am gonna. You're gonna die. It's gonna be by me because you are freaking me out. We're not supposed to anticipate his needs. So we need to help him work, like, we want him to ask for help. She taught me the sign for help. And we do some other signs, but she said, a lot of times, like, I thought, don't do signs, because then he won't have to talk. And she said, no, you do want to do signs, help them talk. So mm. working on sign language, um, working on not anticipating his needs, giving him more choices. And that's one thing that we live a very scheduled life. And so, like, he doesn't get to choose what he's gonna eat. He like sits at the table, like I know when to feed him. Just I'm feeding the other and kids. Get it, give him the food. Yeah, like instead she's like, don't put his play right in front of him. Like put it out a little bit further away. Make him Ugh. ask for you to scoot it in. And don't get him the drink to start with. Like make his life harder. Oh the phone's ringing. The doctor. Oh my gosh. Is Should it... we answer it right now? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh my Hello. Hello? 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 Please call back again. Hey, your labs look okay. Yes. So, just meaning there's no, there's no active cardiac inflammation going on. Meaning okay. there's no emergency. Okay, okay, so good. That means, we can, that means we can schedule you for an ultrasound and a stress test. Okay. Uh, anytime in the upcoming week or two. Okay. So. Good I'm news. Okay if you're doing like light activity, but I wouldn't try to push it too hard until we make sure your heart's okay. Okay. Uh, your other labs did look okay too. They actually ran them all quickly. Oh wow. So that's one of the benefits of doing it. Yeah. At the hospital, they got everything like your cholesterol's good, your thyroid's good. 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 Um, you're not diabetic. Good. Um, Is there a possibility that this like sickness that we had just it's still ramifications of that, or is there for sure something else we need to like dig until we find? Well, the thing that made me worry the most is all that, the shortness of breath, you said, Jonathan, started before you had that cold. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I, I think like the cold maybe increasing. just increased it. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And it wasn't just like it was a couple days before the cold, it was a week or two before. Yeah, at least a week. JD's over here making jokes, and I am I not told her, having it. I think over the next couple of weeks, you need to wait on me, hand and foot. I I should not have to move off of this couch, ever. So, <clears throat> recap that conversation. Your labs look good. Labs look good. I'm still trying to figure out why. We're going to check out like the valves and the function of the heart and see if that's what. Are could you be the issue. positive? You started feeling tired. Well, and that's the thing. I'm like, uh, I mean, because we had COVID be before that. Well, we didn't have. I didn't have COVID. Well, you didn't test positive, but that's not necessarily. It I, doesn't yeah, necessarily mean you didn't have it. I don't know. Well, it's been an interesting afternoon. It has been just kind of calm here, actually. And then we went into the badness of like track and activity days and all the things, but we are home now. And my sweet friend Jenny brought me dinner, which was so kind. Before she came, I had like 10 minutes and all the kids were downstairs and I just like cuddled on the couch with JD and just kind of cried a little bit. And it was like really nice to just like have a minute. So we had the yummiest creamy tortellini soup. Oh, it was delightful. And now we have decided that what our family needs more than anything is to look outward. And we have a close family friend who is struggling right now. So we are going to go pick out just a basket of their favorite treats and go drop them off. And then we're going to come back. We're going to cuddle and watch a movie and call this day one for the books. All right. I kind of forgot to record while we were in the dollar store because who doesn't want to record with four kids in a store? 
But we got a bunch of yummy goodies in this little thing. We're gonna go drop them off. And then straight into bed when we get home, okay guys? Okay. Say yes, mama. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow, what a day. What a day. Not a, really not the uh, type of day I was expecting. Um, I just figured I'd go to a normal routine uh, checkup and all would be well. And you know, I just tell them I wasn't feeling super great and maybe they prescribed me a little something or I don't know what I was expecting. But anyway, so hopefully we get more answers here soon. But tonight we got to do something uh, special. We got to uh, go visit some friends who were kind of struggling and bring them something and uh, just do service. And it just, it really helps to take away from your self pity and your, you know, things that you may be struggling with. It really brightens up your own day. And, and so selfishly, you know, when you serve, uh, you also obviously uh, feel better about when you serve. So um, it was really nice. It was really nice. And I love to do that with our kids as well so that they get that, op that opportunity to do that, so. But guys, go out and serve others, go help others lend a, a helping hand out in this world because it needs it. So we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.